there's a, there's a methodology called Toyota Kata. Okay, so here's some coaching Kata cards. They're business size, so you can put in your wallet. Everybody's going to have this with them as a coach, and you guys are all coaches. One thing we also did, we incorporated a uh, 64 chart from the Harada method, which is just an easy way to say, what is our challenge for the year, or for the end of the year, which is three months out, what is our challenge? And for each area, packaging, paint shop, what are the obstacles that you've listed with Offmark? So the exercise for this morning is easy. We're doing it for the first time, the first time you're getting this. My target condition in order to increase or help the plant increase from 220 equivalent units to 286 by December, uh, my first target condition would be uh, get all the correct workstations for all my assemblers with all the tools available. In order to achieve what we want, which is have 1.5 or 0.5 days worth of work in front of the paint shop, one of my target conditions will be to have every station and assembler have a full set of tools and its own workstation. What we've done to get that process started is build stations for every assembler. And this is one of the stations that we have built. You can see each station has a spot for a tool and a label for a tool. This is one of the ones that isn't complete. We're about 80% complete of hitting our target condition for that. But I will bring you to one that is full. So right now, this is what the finish station minus a couple tools will look like. Uh, you can see clearly what the tool is missing. As you can see, uh, everything has a place and everything is in its place. Awesome. What's That's your next step? Watching. What's after this? You're almost done this. What's next? Um, we have many things to do. Um, I would like to create uh, a bigger buffer space for assemblies, uh, units coming out. Another thing we would like to do is put in place uh, a firm tracking place so when we get our parts from machining shop that we know that those parts are complete and we can start assembling because what we are running into now is we start assembling and at the end we're three quarters of the way to the end of our run we have we are out of parts certain parts and we have to stop and maintain change move around which is completely inefficient so I would like to put in place where we don't start assembling till we have at least two hours for each assembler, two hours for the work for each assembler in front of them and then we will start that run of units. Great, thank you.